Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we got the lovely house. You're like, why does he have this? You'll see. All right, here's the front of the box. And you can see it's the lovely house. Here's the back, how you put it together. So I'm going to do that really quick. All right, here it is put together, uh, the frame of it. So as you can see, it's purple and pink, which is not going to do. Because the reason I picked this up was to display my nano metal figs and like miniatures that I do have. I'm going to see if this is a cheap idea. They have their own like stand you can get from nano metal figs, which I do have. But I was wondering, grab one of these cheap, 16 bucks, can of spray paint, see how it turns out. So I got to about right here and I looked at it I was like, you know what, that's kind of a cool color because it reminded me of the old NES Batman game, which was purple and black primarily throughout the game. But I was like, nah, just make it all black. All right, here it is finished. Got it painted all black, except for the bottom, which is still pink or purple. But who cares, not worried about that. So it's a quick, cheap project, so. I'm not going to go into great details on a $16 thing. But here it is, how it looks. Okay, applied one coat of spray paint. You can do more just to even it out. I didn't do the bottom. Just trying to do it quick, throw it together, see how it looks. All right, let's put the rest in. All right, here's what it's supposed to look like. All purple, a lovely house. There's all the stuff that you could paint, and maybe I'll paint later. Alright, here we have it. Like I said, just kind of one coat of spray paint. You can see some purple still coming through. I can touch that up later if I want. But I really just want to get it done, put together, see how it looks, see if it's even worth my time. But I do like how the black turned out. So here's some of the inlays, you just lay in. So these two are fine, you don't really need to worry about them because they're plain. So I'm looking at these, these go on the back wall, like here. I'm like, eh, kind of like two little kids' rooms. Now the thing is, I'm going to flip it over. And it has like a pink purplish to it, which I think is going to be fine. Of course you could just paint these if you wanted to but i'm not going to put this side in the interior instead this will be what's displayed so we're going to put this side facing front instead of this side all right here you have it finished with the black so you could paint these if you wanted to maybe like a gray when i flip these so i put the brick exterior into the interior so instead of pink, they're more purple. You could also paint those if you wanted to. Uh, this roof is pretty terrible. Again, this thing was $15. So this is a real chintzy uh, cardboard chimney. Might as want to just leave off like I did on this one. I think it's a chintzy chimney. I left it off here. I think it looks better maybe without it. Thinking like, okay, why did you do this? So I wanted a place to put my um, display my minis instead of just like a shelf. So this kind of maybe has like a little bit of a haunted house. It's a little too bright, so maybe a little too Scooby Dooish, but it's a lot cooler than it than it was, which is well, this thing. Can't do that, can't have that, so. All right, so that's how it kind of looks, just bare bones. There's no furniture in there. You can display them sparsely. Grab them like, there. Put out a white panther. 
Falcon over here, Ant-Man, Thor, Captain Black Widow, Ultron Loki. So you know, I may add some like LED lights or something like that. You can do, I think you can do a lot with a setup like this because you can customize it pretty much any way you want. It's cheap. Uh, the house is, I think, fifteen ninety five off Amazon or something like that. And the nano figs, I got these for eight bucks. So that's just the superhero ones. So I've added some more minis to kind of fill it out. So accommodate whatever. There's the WWE guys, Transformers down here on the bottom floor. So I actually found these at Dollar Tree, and these are like wood, which is nice. So while the house was on order, I was like, well, let me grab these in case they fit. But as you can see, the scale is definitely different. I mean, that furniture scale is big to those minis as is. So if you take, uh, like Iron Man, you know, just, you know, this stuff here, it's ridiculous. It's like an Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. So it scales more towards a action figure. Of course, you could put Trish in here. Okay, uh, we got a tag of the 50 foot woman kind of thing. So, but these being more than a dollar, in case I want to like maybe upgrade this or I guess I have a lot of minis, I have quite a bit more than these guys here. I just unbox these. So, maybe if I need more, if I want to get an additional one of these and maybe try to stack it, some kind of um tower like thing which may be doable because the way these cylinders fa fasten but well, it might be a little uh too wobbly but it's a little investment so that's what's good saying like 1595 who fell all right 